Uh, when people ask what I do, I can honestly respond that I blow things up on the world's largest laser. The fusion experiments that they do are something that I've dreamt about since I was a kid. We get to create for a billionth of a second a little tiny piece of a star, and I get to see what happens. And um, I, can't, I can't fully express how thrilling that is to get to come and work on a machine like this every day. Uh, we're at the National Ignition Facility at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Uh, the NIF is funded by the National Nuclear Security Administration to ensure we maintain a safe, secure, and effective nuclear deterrent. On September 23, 1992, the United States did its last underground nuclear explosive test, but we needed to maintain the confidence in our nuclear deterrents. And what we launched with was a, the science-based stockpile stewardship program, the idea that NIF allows us to access experimentally regimes that are important for understanding operating nuclear weapons. And in order to have confidence in our deterrent, we need to be doing experiments, doing simulations, training stockpile stewards as we go into the future. And so NIF plays the role of answering some fundamental questions we didn't know the answers to when we stopped nuclear testing and gives us confidence in that stockpile going forward. So. When I took a tour of the National Ignition Facility, we first walked across the laser itself, which is the size of a football pitch, and that's just one part of the laser. And then we came here into the target bay, and I saw all of these amazing instruments. You see these huge beam lines coming into this 10 meter diameter chamber, and I, was just, I just wanted to work on that. Uh, there are so many systems that are at the bleeding edge of what is possible in this facility that we're just a magnet for talent. So we have great world-leading scientists in optics, in lasers, in diagnostics, in understanding high energy density science. The experiment that I'm most interested in is the physics of what happens at the center of the tiny target. But really, just getting the laser to power and fire itself, being able to actually uh, physically fabricate the targets, then being able to collect the output from the target. Each aspect of those is an experiment and has its own technical and scientific challenges that have to be overcome before we can even get to the plasma physics that is really my expertise. And so the opportunity to work with all of that level of, um, of technical knowledge and know-how and bring it all together to get to this very specific grand challenge, inertial confinement fusion physics, is, is just really exciting and really a great opportunity. So we allocate a small fraction of our time to the best science proposals from the outside community. And it's a tremendously exciting to, to see their excitement to get access to this unique capability. But also it helps to energize our own uh, workforce because they get to work on these really cool problems and, and work with the next generation of students and some of them come and work here. And coming here as a graduate student was mind-blowing. You know, coming out to a facility like this was, was overwhelming enough, but then to be a part of it, it, really an amazing experience. So I get to work here at the National Ignition Facility. As an experimental physicist, I both run experiments that we do inside the NIF, and I also get to design diagnostics which probe those experiments. The experiments that we do create states of matter that aren't created anywhere else in the world. So we get x-rays, we get neutrons, we get protons, there's optical emission, and we want to see not just what it is that's coming out, but where it's coming out and where it's happening inside the experiment. And our experiments are tiny, they're just 50 microns across. So I designed microscopes for fusion experiments, but there are many other experiments which try and probe states of matter, material strength, and also stars and how they're formed, and this microscope can be applied to them. And that gives me the opportunity to work with amazingly intelligent people from all sorts of different backgrounds, from different institutions outside of Lawrence Livermore. And that's really thrilling as a, as a diagnostic scientist, and it's also thrilling as a physicist. So Livermore is a really exciting place to work in that there's tremendous opportunity to do both fundamental science, discovery science, as well as contributing to the national security through good science that supports our stockpile stewardship mission. You know, I have the ability to try to understand, are there any extrasolar planets that are potentially habitable? Because we have this giant facility, we have the ability to sort of probe the material states directly within these extrasolar planets to say, you know, is there a solidifying inner core which would then drive a dynamo 
which creates a magnetosphere, while also using that same facility to address questions important to ensuring our stockpile is safe, secure, and reliable. It's an exciting time right now because what we're doing is the culmination of generations of people's work and we're at the moment where we're doing experiments now that can tell us questions that we've wondered about for decades. Each day we're doing experiments accessing regimes that have never been accessed before, uh, working with a great team of very smart scientists and engineers and, and technologists. And being a small part of a group of really hard-working people who try and apply themselves every day is really thrilling.